Hey guys, Silent Xiao here. Welcome back to our Utah Macross update video. So this time around, we're taking a look at December's events. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Because Dana is definitely ready to receive their Christmas gifts from everyone <laughs> through the purchases of their singing stones. I'm personally very excited for Christmas. Christmas is the time to, to show love, um, especially to your family, friends, and um, close relations to yourself um, you know but personally it's just a time to really spend time together with the people you love um, aside from you know uh, the daily stuff because you know everyone is not as free as they want to be nowadays especially with the pandemic around you don't get to meet your friends or families as often um, so you know time spent together should be all the more cherished uh, even if it's just like 5-10 minutes a day um, You know, it, it's just hard uh, So why not do it during the month where it is especially important um, Because uh, it's a marketing ploy <laughs> Like most of the, um, you know, uh, people are saying <laughs> Anyways, December um, let's talk about the month's events. So as usual, the first event will feature, um, you know, either a background illustration of brand new Valkyrie or even now that is a thing, uh, a costume that is exclusive to Ulta Macross. So let's take a look at the first month's event. As you can tell straight away, as you see this um, kanji word here with the number five, it means that yes. We are getting a new Valkyrie song, or rather, a new rendition of the song <laughs> that is for five person. So yes, the song in involved is change, um, and yeah, even though it's not technically a new song, but you know, having a five person or five unit edition for change is fantastic. So you can finally toss all your full costume collection into this live performance. I uh, probably will upload. Um, a YouTube video for this one as well uh, you know, for going the demonetization of it because you know music stuff is always getting copyright strikes but just for entertainment value why not put it up on the channel for archiving purposes in case when Uta Macross closes down in the future you, you want to get some nostalgia um, kicks <laughs> so this month we are getting um, Arats Mikumo Edition Valkyrie. So this this Valkyrie should have been released long ago, but it's just uh, delayed and delayed and delayed because of all the new stuff that's coming out. You know they've been featuring more latest Macross content. Uh, you know for for Ultra Macross rather than you know kicking out all the old stuff first. And of course the two seven start featured. Episode plates are of course the Mirai on costumes for Rei Rei and uh, Kumo Kumo So I'm liking Rei Rei's illustration because we get to see some delicious Tushi <laughs> uh, Mikumo is looking very cute though um, You don't really see her smile like this very often So yes, if you guys didn't know, this illustration is by Mita Chisato from Capcom um, she, she usually does all these super colourful and lively illustrations that we are all so used to by now uh, very different from uh, Mikimoto and you know the rest of the senior Macross artists um, So yeah, and of course um, the upcoming Red Boss event is going to feature Ray Ray's um, Default? I, I wouldn't call it default, but it's more like the first costume for Valkyrie Even though she doesn't exist in this timeline <laughs> But yeah, it's nice that all the, the current Valkyrie members are getting their costumes. I'm still hoping for Claire when of course the rest of the original OG Valkyrie members to reappear. Uh, at least in the future, I don't know if Dana will actually do it, but it'll be nice. You know, they, we do have uh, Namindame Bakuhatsu on with Claire version song in the soundtrack listing. Um, so. Technically, it is possible for Claire to appear in, or, uh, in Uta Macross in the future. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below. And of course, um, it seems like we're getting more Cheryl love as well. What's this? Uh, Tenshi ni Nachata. So the song... Oh, okay. Interesting. So I guess, I guess this will be the second featured costume. Um, so it belongs to Cheryl for the Red Boss event. 
Um, so I'm guessing that the the Cheryl costume should technically be the second event of the month. Then the red event was definitely Freya. Um, then of course the red boss exclusive episode plate belongs to Cheryl and Ranka in their old Christmas costumes. Um, then of course the last event of the month, um, which is featuring the the Cheryl. Uh, so oh, sorry, not sure. <laughs> Silver Moon, <laughs> Red Moon, <laughs> Mirror version. So it's it's just the regular version, just that the um the notes are you know reversed or rather inverted, um soft sides basically. <laughs> so yeah, and of course Min Mei and uh, Makina are getting their Christmas costumes. They're looking very lovely, more like a Christmas tree. But you know, I'm I'm actually digging Min Mei's costume more than Makina's. I don't know, it's just it's just more poofy, I guess, and it has more accessories compared to Makina. Uh, I mean this the, the ribbons here look nice, but you know the rest of the costume doesn't seem that fantastic compared to Min Mei. Uh, Min Mei's hair and of course the hair ornaments stand out more than Makina's bun up hair. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just my personal opinion, anyways. So the rest of the events, as you can tell, this is the repeat event, so this is the second event of the month. So Zetai Novatic Zero um, is coming back. Um, I guess that's coming with Cheryl's event episode plate. Um, so that's not too bad. So the month of December seems very uneventful, kind of. Uh, I expected more like more Christmassy stuff, but it seems like there's only one, two, well, technically three things for Christmas. Uh, I guess. I guess Dana doesn't really celebrate Christmas <laughs> as much as the rest of the Japanese do. Or uh, maybe, who knows, maybe the staff at Dana are getting buttloads of a uh, bucket of chicken from KFC. Who knows? Anyways, guys, are you guys excited for the month of December? Technically, I'm excited for myself for Ray Ray 7 Star episode plate, so my luck has been pretty horrible. Um, so hopefully, I get some good luck with Ray Ray's costume. Um, Kumo Kumo's costume would be nice too to get a full set of Mirai on costumes. And yes, technically, this December is is going to allow us to collect the full set of Mirai on costumes for a five unit performance. Well, technically, if you can get all seven star episode plates, that is. <laughs> that is the only costume set that is actually locked behind seven stars. Ah, oh, this is such an expensive costume performance. Anyways, um, as usual guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and before we move off, I have to say thank you guys so much for all the follows on the Instagram account. We finally hit 80 followers on Instagram. So if you guys here on YouTube are following me and subscribed here, make sure you if you if you already hit the subscribe button, thank you. If you have yet to do so, please do so. Uh, of course, head over to Instagram as well to hit the follow button. Because aside from YouTube, YouTube here, I'm actually updating a lot of the content information there as well on Instagram. So make sure you head over there, hit the, the follow button and make, uh, make us go all the way to 100 followers. I am planning something special when we hit 100 followers, so make sure you guys try, uh, get your friends to follow, you know, all that stuff. If you want to find out what I have planned for 100 followers, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be worth your time. I, 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 I definitely guarantee that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much as always. Uh, let me know your thoughts, you know, in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye!